How the f come and steal my client? But bro, listen, she hit me up. That's because she didn't know that I was in town. Even if that was the case, she would have still hit your phone to see that's when you was going to be client. in town. If that's your client. I heard you, but that's she, my client. Yo, look, maybe she tired of you. She's already experienced you too many times. I'm new, fresh, bro, it's over. But at the end of the day, she picked me over you. The client wants fresh new ink, and I'm that. You don't just come in here and take my client to piece of All right, whatever you say, Simon. She wants the new black ink. You're the old black I'm ink. Out of here. Hey, guys, we have a new artist starting today. What's his name? His name is Alex. He's really talented, really good at black and gray. So it turns out that I really did up these numbers, and I owe the IRS $30,000. So I went on Instagram and I found the best artist I could because a new artist means more money, more tattoos, a higher cut for me, and getting Lalo off my back. Hey, what's up, what's up? Welcome. Man, baby, what's good? Welcome to the shop. This is Walt, Sky, Miss Kitty, Miss Donna, Bay, Caesar, and you guys, this is Alex. He is our new artist. Vagina Slayer. Vagina Slayer. That's your name? Yeah. <laughs> We're not calling you Vagina Slayer. That's what I do. <laughs> what? That's what I do. I mean, my brother's name is O. So, welcome to Black Ink, <laughs> you know? Bro, stop. You sound like an idiot. I can show you better than I can tell you. Yeah? <laughs> Did Alex really just say that? I thought I was desperate for money, but I'm not desperate enough for this. It's gross, it's weird, it's misogynistic. No. Look, bro, you're embarrassing the f out of me. Get out. You're kicking the Get out. Hold on, That's sit down, bro. Sit down. Melody hired this kid, didn't know his name was Vagina Slayer. <laughs> ain't his fault. She ain't doing research. But I think it showed this kid got kind of a little swagger in here. So guess what? I'm gonna make him do this tattoo today and see if he has the chops. And if he is, I'm gonna co sign his hire. Come on, I'm taking him back to set up. I've been dealing with from everyone this last couple weeks, but now the new artist is gonna come in disrespecting me too? No way. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Oh my god! My real name is Alex, but my peoples really do call me the Vagina Slayer. I'm not trying to be offensive to anything, but it is what it is. Welcome to Black Ink. I'm looking for the Vagina Slayer. <laughs> Y'all yeah. really call him VS? Yeah, that's his, I mean, that's his name. His name is Alex, and I'm gonna pretend I did not just hear that. Yo, Alex! Come get your client, bro. Hi, how you been? Yeah. Come on, you ready? Kay is one of my best friends, and I figured I'd be a little more comfortable her coming to get a tattoo my first time, you feel me, bless me into the shop, get my feet wet a little bit. So what tattoo are we doing today? I don't know. I don't know what I should do. This name, it have to be gone. I got you. You ready for this pain? Hell yeah. What's going on? It's not working? Um... Yo, I don't know what the problem is. I think this is broke. Wait, you can't do my tattoo? We're gonna have to reschedule. Just hit me when you are ready to reschedule. Same. Where's she going? This is the worst day ever, yo. Yo, see. What's wrong with you? Now my gun is broke. What? Your tattoo machine broke. I look wild unprofessional. It's my first day, man. This is like trying out for the Knicks. You gonna tell the Knicks, yo, I'm gonna come back with my trial because I ain't got my sneakers? I ain't bring my hands. Oh. <laughs> like, honestly, would you hire you right now? Bro, uh, all the white people that turned you away, they made you who you are today, right? So I'm trying to get another chance just to be in the spot that you in. And, and step back like this. This mother pulled the black card? I 
I have never seen anybody use that card unless it's dire emergency. Oh, you little mother you. Well, you give me one more chance. One more. But don't come back if you don't have your together. It better be a damn good tattoo, Alexander. Gotcha. No one pulls that black card on me. What's going on, everybody? Hey, vagina slayer. Oh, you got a machine that works today? Of course I do. Oh. Told you I was going to come with it, man. Last week on this kid's first day, he pissed his mellow by calling himself Vagina Slayer. Now, I don't really give a f as long as you can attach. But then, just fucking machine is broken. So today is his last chance to prove himself that he should be part of Blackie. All right, I'm, I'm going to go get ready and kill this tat. Tattoo Slayer. Don't f it up, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, is you ready to see my tattoo? You done already? Oh, oh, out. Let me see this thing. Oh, I don't love it. And it's touching this tattoo completely and not nicely. This tattoo is weak. The lines are jacked up. The shading is terrible. He's not slaying anything, and I'm over him. Wait, wait, wait. Let me check this out. Let me see, young boy, what you did. You like it? I love it. Felt that I was supposed to get like a masterpiece after all the we've been through with you. True. Oh no, something about you. How about this, right? We'll start you as an apprentice. We let O'Melody, our shop manager, help get you into shape. <laughs> Alex being Mel's apprentice, I think he's gonna try to prove her wrong and become a great artist. And it can't be no worse apprentice than Donna. Sorry, Mel. I'm the boss. You're overruled. I already got one ass to wipe at home. I don't need another one. That is whack. If you can't make a hire and then stand by it, maybe Walt should be manager. Wow, Donna. I didn't know you me like that. Yeah. It kind of turned me on. Why is that with you light skin girl? Why y'all always go at it? <laughs> you all suck. Hey, Vagina Slayer. Your name is Vodge, for short. My name is Vodge. Vodge. So you gotta put the two dots over the A. I think it's German Vodge. <laughs> What's up, Vodge? Maybe coming in here saying the Vagina Slayer was a little too strong and aggressive. Yeah, I don't know. Vodge. Vodge is cool. So, question, what you gonna do about Melody not liking you? I haven't really been feeling the way she was coming at me. It's like I come walking in the shop, she giving me the dirty looks. She don't want to hug me. <laughs> nah, hi. Nah, how are you? Yeah. Mm. I'm just like, yo, what's up? Oh, why would you bring me in here if you he was going to be on some other <laughs> Honestly, Melody on some bull <laughs> man. She doesn't like my work. I think I'm dope as <laughs> She said I got potential. I'm going to just stick to being an artist, doing what I do. Stay out of her way. I don't got time Excellent. for emotions. Honestly, I don't feel like Melody should be the manager. Man was not one to like absorb her emotions and then act accordingly to the job. I'm going through some shit in my life right now. You don't want to understand. I don't appreciate you. <laughs> Melanie's on this. Man, that you. And you mother don't do nothing. Go, go home. Get out. Melly with her point and I hoo ha ha. Really? Check this out. Oh. You got the light show now. Get it, get it, get it. My Not a kid, then. My is now. She has no type of response. Oh. just run down on the shop. Honestly, I don't know. This kid got some balls. He was just about to get fired, and now he's having a party. Black Ink is known for their tattoos and their dope-ass parties. My peoples was in town. Mel ain't here. Donna ain't walk with it. I'm here. Let's all be here and get lit. Let's get
I come in to check on the shop and I see Donna, Walt, and Alex partying up in here with a bunch of hood rats that don't nobody know. And then this bitch with the blue hair is up in here again like, honey, I already sent you home. Yeah, you don't you. Come no, bitch. Way. Girl, I don't want to hear you trying to talk logic to me. You should know better. Let this go. Nothing's going on. You want me to hear the whole deal. I take a day off because I work my ass off. And then don't talk to me, all right? Listen, me and my peoples is ratchet. It's already lit. It's a lot of ass shaking going on, body shots and all that. You go ahead, mind your business, and we're gonna do what we do, okay? It's a playground! No. It's a place to work! Don't put your hands on me, Donald. Go outside. Girl. Hey, Go no, on, take your ass outside. Cause you're bugging. going on in my personal life, I do not have the time or the energy to babysit a bunch of toddlers. I am so over black ink right now, like this. <laughs> This Jersey is different. Oh, like Jersey period courtrooms, none of that. Yo, I feel like my heart about to burst out of my chest, son. And you know these Jersey, they don't play. I'm, I'm definitely trying to stay positive throughout this whole situation, man. That's what you got to do, man. As long as you know you're done with it, you don't want to do it no more, you just got to figure out how to stay away from it. I definitely appreciate you coming with me today, man. Yeah, of course. Like I said, I'll f with you. Court hearings are about to begin. I'm ready to go into court. Step in the courtroom? Get the over. It means a lot to have Teddy come into court with me. Probation is saying I missed the payment on some administrative fees that I'm supposed to be paying every month. I'm hoping I could just go in there and pay it off, but I'm always nervous stepping into a government building because I always feel like they out to get me. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for your patience. Is there anyone present who needs the assistance of a court interpreter? All right. So at this point, if we could have appearances on the record from probation, please. Page 128, 49133, Robinson, Alex. Step up to this table, please. For the record, your full name? Alexander Robinson, R-O-B-I-N-S-O-N. You may have a seat. Probation case R-49133, and if you may hear from probation, please. Mr. Robinson has two active cases. His current payment plan is $10 a month. He last made the payment on March 1st. His current balance is $434. He last failed to appear at the Communist Enforcement hearing on June 23rd. Last failed to appear? What do you mean, last failed to appear? I wasn't supposed to appear anywhere until today. So, Mr. Robinson, do you know why you're here today? The, um, the hearing? I didn't know about that. All right. We'll have to check with probation. Uh, you could just show them the head sheet and you could just verify your address with them. In the meantime, Mr. Robinson, um, all right, are you currently employed? Yes. All right, very good. You've hardly made payments. You're behind $82. Pay the $82 today? I'll pay it today. All right, very good. So in order for you to have this fully paid by the time you're gonna be off probation, you would need to make payments. But the question is, can you afford the total of $45 every month? Yes. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. All right, does probation have any other comments? No. All right. Just give us a second, Mr. Robinson. I'll fill out the order. Yeah. OK. Looks like the judge is satisfied that I paid off my balance today. So I guess everything is settled. All right. Have you sign it. We'll give you a copy. And I guess there's some other issues that you also need to address. Need to see the sheriff's officer and follow their instructions. Uh, Wait, hold the f up. Did I miss something? Like, why are they handcuffing them? What the f is going on right now? Serious? Yeah. Two warrants? Bull. I got two wars for. Yo, I swear these cops is out to get me, and there's nothing I could do about it. 
Yeah. What up? So why you got me here so early? What's the bucket? I don't like the look of this. It's your bucket. My bucket? I don't see my name on here. I knew something was weird when C's asked me to be at the shop at 8 in the morning. Don't nobody in this world get no tattoo at 8 o'clock in the morning. I feel after you drag me away from Atlanta to bail your ass out, it means you have to have some type of building time. Since you're an apprentice, you might as well start off cleaning and you owe me a whole bunch of money plus interest. I put interest on my So let's start with the windows. Come on, Daniel, son. Oh, my God, yo. Mr. Miyagi has a lesson to teach you. In the words of Mr. Miyagi, we make a secret pack. I say, you do. I bail your ass out, you learn some responsibility. Now, get your ass to work. You see, these windows, they represent you. If your vision was clear, you would pay that $10 a month instead of having me fly away from my Atlanta to pay $13.50 and bail your ass out. Wax on, wax off, you're leaving streaks. OK, OK, I get it. I'm paying my dues because he's honestly trying to help me alter my path. Well, we got more work to do. Come on. Now on to cleaning the deck. So why wouldn't I listen to Sensei Season? Go ahead, get scrubbing. So, I want to talk to you about something. As a man, what you going to do? You got a talent, but you also got a family to feed. You got to straighten up. And you got to understand you can't put yourself in certain situations. You got a kid that depends on you. I'm definitely not going to let you down, bro. I swear to God, I'm not going to let you down. The fact that you came through when I had nobody to turn to, it puts you on a higher pedestal in my life. I'm still new to Black Ink, but C showed up in a way that my father never could. I'm really grateful for being out of jail and still having a job. I'm grateful that C's gave me a second chance. Well, I appreciate the opportunity and the knowledge, everything you're kicking to me, man. And I'm definitely not going to let you down, bro. No, can you remember this lesson? Definitely, because I'm not trying to do this for the rest of my time here. Exactly. Right. But you got the rest of this deck to clean. Hi. Right. Let me when you're done. I got you. It was good speaking to you, little Word. This your client? Yeah, that's T Boogie with the hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> I've tattooed Tyra a few times, and I'm not surprised that she's back for more. I thought when I came back to New York, I was gonna have a hard time building my clientele up. But word must have spread around Harlem that old is back. What kind of tattoo you want for me to do today? Alex gonna do my tattoo today. What? Oh. You're not getting tattooed by me? Um. You haven't Me. been here, so I hit Alex up. But I mean... I thought you were in Cali for good. That's why I booked Alex. Alex is a dope artist. He gonna get it done. That's really how you feel? Well, let's just have you fill out some paperwork so you can come with me. Bro, you got to be kidding me. He should know that she's a regular client at Black King. I mean, that's bread out of my pocket. How you gonna come steal my client? But bro, listen, she hit me up. That's because she didn't know that I was in town. Even if that was the case, she would have still hit your phone to see that's when you was going to be client. in town. If that's your client. I heard you, but that's she, my client. Yo, look, maybe she tired of you. She's already experienced you too many times. I'm new, fresh, bro, it's over. But at the end of the day, she picked me over you. Listen, bro, the truth hurts. This is a business. I'm not about to tiptoe around you. The client wants fresh new ink, and I'm that. You don't just come in here and take my client to piece of all right, whatever you say, Simon. She wants the new black ink. You're the old black I'm ink. Get out of here. What's good, Daddy? Let's go with you. Have a seat. Yeah, it's good to see you. It's been a while. What's up? Hey, man. I'm chilling. You want some of these wings? Man, nah. I'm good. What's up? All right, so. I brought you here because I want to explain exactly why I distanced myself. 
I didn't get the chance to have the relationship with you that I wish I would have had growing up. Because you kept getting locked up. And then when you came back home, your way of parenting at that point in time was if I wasn't doing what you wanted me to do or how you wanted me to do it, you would punch me in my chest. That made me scared of you. Especially if you was drunk. I don't want to hear that crying ah, You ain't no bitch, don't cry. It's just like, I can't even be so. Ain't no crying. And let me tell you something about prison life. If you allow people to see your emotions, they're going to use it against you. You have to know how to fight. You have to know how to take care of yourself. There's certain things I wanted you to understand. You either going to be a wolf or you're going to be a sheep. It's so frustrating because I feel like he's not even trying to listen to me. It's like he's not even trying to understand what I'm saying. I felt like if you would have just spoke to me because I respected your word, period. But instead, you was putting your hands on me. And the worst time was the day I had came in my hands. The fact that you put your hands on me with him in my hands, period, was like, damn, you don't give a f about neither one of us right now. That did a lot of damage. I think I disowned you that day. I think I told you I didn't want to be your son. no excuse for my actions that day. I'll forever be so ashamed of how I handled that day. I'm really I'm sorry. That's all I wanted was an apology. I never got one. That's something that really did get to me. There's nothing I can do to take it back, but you got to know I would never do anything to hurt you or Cam. I love y'all. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. Why do Americans have to use the order? What? What you mean? Why do Koreans don't use deodorant? I don't know, because we don't stink. You really don't wear deodorant? No, I don't use it. <laughs> Good, right? All right, then. <laughs> oh, my God. What? What happened? <gasps> oh, my God. I'm going to tell you what's Oh, my God, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Like, oh, oh, what? What? <laughs> Yo, someone just tagged me in this video that's been spreading on Instagram. Kinda getting. What you mean, Donna getting? Get him. Who? Yo, look at that. Oh, and they in a battle. Wait, hold the up. Oh. That's Alex, bro. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Alex and Donna, what? Yo, my this is in the battle. What are you? The is recording this. Is he rolling a blunt? Yes. Alex. He rolling the blunt on her ass with well, her face in the toilet. That's Yo, listen, my boy got some serious skills. You rolling a blunt while hitting it from the back? Bro, you are truly the vagina slayer. I thought her and the homie Mo was in a serious relationship. All right. I'm really confused. Mo was the best thing that ever happened to Donna. I mean, she just moved in with him. I just thought things were going well. God only knows what's happening with them now, now that this thing is spreading all over the internet. This is bad. <laughs> Why you laughing? Because Donna be preaching that, yo, my n I have the best relationship. This, and look at it uh, now. Listen, listen, listen. Let me break it down. I just <laughs> your in a oh part of the team God. jacket. Hey. I just while I'm rolling up to weed. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, what you doing, you fool? Hey! Hey, hey nobody! Hey.
I'm sure you guys already saw it was all over the internet right now. Y'all, yeah. make sure your face in the toilet. We saw that. My face was not in the toilet, okay? And also, we didn't f All we was doing was dancing. In the bathroom store. I know that is. <laughs> <laughs> dancing. That's what the kids call it these days? Do we need to go to the evidence, okay? Cause what I'm looking at right here is clearly a lot of ass. The skirt is hyped up. If y'all doing any mother dancing, it was clearly the forbidden dance. Girl, you better stop it. It was having fun, it was a kinky song. How about y'all made a new song? We like we dancing. Yeah, we <laughs> Did Mo see the video? Yes. He saw it, and I've never seen him that angry in my life. Mo was so mad, he wouldn't even look at me. He wouldn't talk to me. He basically looked like he just hated me, and then stormed out, and I haven't heard from him since. What's going on? I'm forcing myself to be OK, because I just don't want to be sad as I up. Like, I embarrassed Mo, and I'm sad about that and I'm humiliated the whole world is watching it. I don't understand why I've been having such a hard time trying to impress Donna's dad. So I asked him to meet me away from the house so we could speak man to man. Because if he doesn't approve of me, then I don't know what our future holds with me and Donna. So I just want to start off by saying, Thanks for meeting me, man. I know it's been a rough past couple days. Well, for me, at least. Uh, you know. Every time we talk, it's like real tense. And I don't want it to be that. Like, do you have a problem with me? I mean, I'm not gonna say a problem, but you know, of course, I'm, I'm just looking at you like you coming into Taylor's life, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just gonna make sure that you have Taylor's best interests at heart. Okay, uh, I could respect that. That's exactly why I actually need you here right now. I'm trying to come to a common ground with you to let you know that I really do love your daughter and I'm definitely in it for the long run. So, like, what are your intentions? Your daughter has been there for me from the moment I stepped in the shop, through my injury, through everything that we've been through. She's held me down. And bottom line, I want to marry your daughter. In the end, I just want to make sure that I have your blessing. That's all I'm, that's all I'm asking for. I appreciate that. It's like you could easily like take the route of like forget that dude. I ain't worried about him. Like I don't care what he thinks. But you like respectfully have come at me like you know man to man, and then you made your intentions known, and you making me feel like I could definitely you know bring you to the family with love. Whew. That's that's like music to my ears, man. That's all I could ever ask for. Yes. Thank God I finally got through to this, man. Yo, listen, I really appreciate you meeting me here today. Man. Respect you, y'all. So early. Oh, man. Ah! What are you doing? <laughs> Stop. I'm gonna be traditional. I'm gonna be. I can't. I already got my glasses on. Hold on. Go ahead. Stop. Taylor Monet pick me. Will you marry me? Are you serious? Spent a lot of money on this ring. Are you sure? I want to be on one knee. Oh, my gosh. Oh, babe. I love you. I love you so much. Yes. <laughs> Stop. This isn't happening. Oh. How long have you known you've been through this? A long time. Oh. Even when I be like, I hate you when you get on my nerves? Yes. Oh. Put your ring on, because I don't want to lose it. I love you. I love you.
got your shades and on. You look a little emotional, but glad that you're here. You gonna follow him back on Instagram? Probably not. <laughs> Good to see you too here, Alex. It's been a minute. I'm not gonna hold you. Ted is not lying. I haven't been, you feel me, at many Black Ink events, and I damn sure I haven't been with the team a lot. Alex, where the you been? Yeah, where the you been? Appreciate y'all. I'm out of here. Make me proud. Donna was really the voice for both of us, but I definitely don't want the bosses thinking I'm not a part of your team. So I have an idea on something that would keep me centered and less stressed, and could possibly help everybody else. Guys, I'm sorry I haven't been around much lately, but with all of these unfortunate events and, you know, emotions flying around, I feel like I can introduce the shop to my world of equanimity. Yo, what the f you just said? What was that word? Equanimity. Uh, look up that word. Equanimity means practicing mental calmness. The shop needs equanimity. So I'm creating a space where I could go chill, relax, kick it, release from stress. And honestly, I feel like the crew could definitely benefit from it. So whenever you guys feel like there's a lot of pressure on you or you just got to clear your mind, that's what this space is going to be for. Equanimity. 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 Today, me and Spider is at the plant shop, and we're getting a bunch of plants specifically for the equanimity spot. I just want the green. I didn't even know that you was, you know what I mean, a forest at heart. Oh, you know what I mean? Plants, they increase your concentration and your, pro your productivity by 15%. They say the plants live longer when you talk to them. Right. You literally, you give them a name, you come talk to them every day. Hey, Sally, what's up with you? Good. Everything's fine. You rub her a little bit. Make sure you water her. All right, I'm going to see you later. And all that helps with your mental? Yeah, man. I've been practicing equanimity since probably like 2015. Does you know it really me? help? It does help. You feel me? It does help. It keeps me out of a lot of sticky situations. You feel me? Because I sit there and I think. I'll be like, you know what? It's not worth it. Anger. Yeah. Anger's like the worst emotion. It is. It could <laughs> you put you in, in a bad situation. I've been in and out of a lot of bad situations lately. And it's really tough on my mental. What she got mad about was the fact that I didn't respond. All right, here we go. Oh, she about to hit a car. Yes, no, she about to hit me. B, everybody been worried about you. Well, I don't like being put in the middle of, you know, like that. And it's very stressful. You all right, man? But equanimity has helped me find peace and growth through these experiences. So with the Big Mama situation, how you feeling about that? Yeah. You... Um, if you want me to keep it real, Work. I was going to leave after my first year at Black Ink. Baby, what's good? Hey, guys, this is Alex, our new artist. Um, my gun is broke. Would you hire you right now? Uh, Don't just come in here and take my client, you piece of but it was Donna that wanted me to stay. You know, basically, she was my voice. I don't like having to talk. I'm a me person, I'm to myself. So without Donna here, I had trouble connecting with everybody. And honestly, it's been a little depressing for me at the shop. At the end of the day, what's more important than any of that is definitely our mental space. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Like this, like the plants, and just being able to be tranquil and just get some kind of peace. Peace is everything. See, Spider gets it. I knew he was the right man for the job. I'm really looking forward to working on this space with him. Now, all I gotta do is get him to properly pronunciate equanimity. Now, let's get back to the shop. Oh, look at this. Oh, my boy got a tree. Yo, what the f are you doing? <laughs> Just give me like 30, 45 minutes. I think you need to call your cousin. They're gonna get their cell fired. Y'all will find out. I would just tell him it's good for the equity. I don't think your equanimity is an equanimity. Yeah. <laughs> I promise you, Ted, this is going to be great for your extremity. Tell me. That's my plan. Damn, damn. That's my plan. So right now, to get this equanimity space set up, I need to get rocks out the way, sticks out the way, spider out the way. But I'm, I'm glad that, you know, Everything is progressing. It is now time to transform this piece of shit corner right here. And it just feels good, feels good to be alive. I'm alive, I'm alive right now. So alive right Woo. now. That's how you do on TV. <laughs> I just need this space to be beautiful and calm. I know it's gonna take a lot of hard work, but it's definitely gonna be worth it. Nah, my 
Might be a body under there. It bro. might be some under here for real. If you got a lot of problems, we can all relate. Let's take a little break, take off the weight. If there's a situation in the shop, we got a space in the back for everybody to go, cool out, hit a little something. Maybe we could reduce some of the conflict that's going on in the shop. <laughs> I need a break. <laughs> this amenity better be working. Extra limit, yo, brother. I'm about to kick you out, man. <laughs> Black people! Yo! Yo! Glad to see y'all here, man. What's up? Are y'all ready? Ready for what, bro? Swimmed a feeling. We named it as a collective, mm -hmm. and it's called the Deadass Garden. NYC. What does it mean? Deadass means deadass. Simple as that. If you know, you know. If you don't, oh well. The Deadass Garden? Deadass. Deadass! I like it, man. So basically, what I want y'all to get out of this dead ass garden is a peace of mind. This is a safe place for you to go, think. Any issues you got, you go back there, you treat it as if it was yours at home because it's ours here. Let's you know dead ass go see it. Ready to do this. Ready to do this. Please follow us. This look good. Yeah, I f with this. I f with this. One of the bosses approves. Yeah, so I f with this. Y'all did a good job. better about the rest of them. I even think Caesar approve of this. This is so cute. Well, guys, I am super impressed. Thank you. And I think this is gonna benefit everybody. Honestly, it really feels nice to hear that the crew likes the spot. I really think it's gonna lead to a lot of positivity here. Plus, I got to leave a little bit of my feng shui in the shop permanently. And the crew appreciate it, so in return, they appreciate me and what I bring to Black Ink. And that means a lot. Let's live it up, let's like the first spliff. Okay. Let's get the going. on. Here's the equidociousness. Equanimity! Hey, y'all, it's your boy, Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.